hello how are you all i hope you all are fine and doing well i'm your favorite physicist and youtuber my name is sayeda fatma rizvi and i bring for you people the very interesting and informative videos of physics tintana today our topic is about electric current and this is the top first topic of current electricity and in current electricity we are going to deal with the charges in motion and basically the flow of charges is known as electric current right uh, how many charges exist in the world basically two type of charges the positive charges and the negative charges so their flow is known as electric current and electric current is required daily in our homes like uh, switching off fans how the fans uh, work just because the electric current is provided to them how the bulbs work because the electric current is provided to them how these tube light work because these uh, electric current is provided to them so basically electric current is the necessity uh, in our daily lives how these electrical appliances work just because of the current right so today we are going to study about the details of the electric current let's start we observe that our everyday appliances working depend upon the amount of the current given so basically the greater the amount of voltage the greater will be the amount of the current and every electrical appliances have the capacity to uh run on the amount of the current right so uh the working of the electrical appliances like fans like uh, tube uh, like electrical motors like tube lights like televisions like computers they require amount of current so i have told you before like fans like tube light like bulbs uh, current uh, computer television they all operate amount the amount of current given right let us consider the conductor it has the uh, proton and electron tightly bound in the nucleus so that no charge no changes occur so we have taken the conductor let's suppose metal uh, metals it has proton and neutron okay uh, the metal contain the nucleus right so the proton is tightly bound bound in the nucleus while the electron revolve around the nucleus so that the electrons are tightly bound to the nucleus so no change occur within the that metal plate we have considered the metal plate so as the conductor or a metal plate is connected to a battery the uh, voltage has been provided to the conductor or temperature get increase so basically here we are dealing with the metal plane we can also call it conductor as the conductor is conducted to uh, connected to a battery the voltage has been provided to the conductor or the temperature get increased okay so we can say in other words as the metal plate is connected to the battery the voltage has been provided to that battery or through that uh, temperature get increase or the voltage of the uh, uh, voltage provided by the battery get increase right so that the electrons in the conductor gain enough energy to get out of their nucleus shall just because of the increase of the temperature so just because as we increase the temperature the electron get enough energy to get out of the shell of the nucleus out of their shell of the nucleus right so the electrons will get out of their shell of the nucleus in the metal plate or we can take, uh, take any sort of conductor here we are dealing with the metal plate so uh, as the voltage is provided uh, to the to the metal plate the electron gain enough energy to get out of the shell of the nucleus and the electron start moving similarly if the temperature of the metal plate is metal plate is increased the electron gain enough energy to move and to get out of the shell of the of their nucleus right 
the electronic current start to flow out of the conductor surface right so basically the electrons amount increases and the electron get free and they start to move so the electronic current start to flow out of the conductor surface the amount of the flow of electrons per unit time is called the electronic current so basically as the electrons start to move the amount of flow of electrons per unit time is known as electronic current all right per unit time the um, amount of the uh, electrons flow is known as the electronic current the flow of current due to the positive charge per unit time is called the conventional current so apart from the electronic current if the positive charges move per unit time so that the that type of current is known as conventional current right so basically here we have taken we are discussing the experiment of the metal plate which is connected to a battery and the battery provide voltage to the metal plate due to which the electron gain enough energy and they start to move right so the electronic current you can see the electron over here start to move okay so the you can see the electron flow in this diagram this is uh, these this type of metal plate is conducted to connected to a battery sorry and you can see that uh, by the help of arrowhead that the electrons are moving and this is the the flow of electron is known as the electronic current if we discuss the positive charge like we can say if the the positive charge start moving and uh, let's suppose we have considered that uh, if the positive charges start moving then that type of current is known as conventional current but here one type of current flow at a time so we are discussing the movement of electron and the current due to the movement of electron per unit time is known as electronic current so here you people see the bulb okay the bulb how the bulb get ignited just because of the current electronic current is provided to them the bulb is connected to the battery and the electron gain enough energy they start flowing and the bulb ignites similarly if, uh, the the bulb also can ignite by the help of uh, positive charges and the positive charges flow per unit time this is known as the conventional current with the help of conventional current the uh, bulb ignites right so the flow of charges through any cross sectional area per unit time is called the electric current so basically the flow of charges through any cross sectional area per unit time is called the electric current so it is denoted by current is denoted by i is equal to q divided by t okay i is given by amperes q is given by coulomb and time is given by seconds so ampere is equal to coulomb per second so basically current is represented by char per unit time i is equal to q divided by t if we want to know about the charge so q is given by q is equal to i t and coulomb is equal to amperes per second if we want to find out the amount of charge electronic current and conventional current both does not flow in the circuit at the same time in electrolytic solution it is possible for example in ups right so basically when the uh, electricity goes at our home then the ups run and basically electrolytic solution is there in ups so both electronic and conventional current work at the same time so but in other appliances both electronic current and uh, conventional current does not flow at the same time the main source of electrical energy is the battery so basically uh, a main source of electrical energy is the battery battery provide voltage due to which the current flow right 
so this is the end of the topic which is all about the electric current we have discussed the sources of the electric current how the current is produced we have discussed about the conventional current and electronic current and we have done the experiment so this is all about the topic like share and subscribe to my channel and spread my videos worldwide thank you so much stay tuned and allah hafiz